Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve numerical problem in order to find the beta and the covariance under the chapter Portfolio Analysis and Selection under the subject Security and Portfolio Management also known as SAPM. Okay, now this is the second part of the chapter Portfolio Analysis and Selection where we are going to solve and find how to find the value of beta and covariance. Again, a very important sum for all the TY BBI students for who are going to appear for semester six. Okay, so see that you all watch this video and try learning how to solve, you know, the method to solve beta and covariance. So let us see with the numerical problems. Okay, now let us see how to calculate beta and covariance under the chapter risk and return analysis. Now, before solving, let us see the formulas of calculating beta and covariance. Now, beta ka formula is covariance upon standard deviation square m, where covariance Rs into Rm, that Rs stands for return on security, Rm stands for return on market portfolio. Now, always remember whenever you are calculating beta and covariance, you are going to compare uh, the security return with the market return. Covariance ka formula is sigma Rs minus R bar S into Rm minus R bar M upon N minus 1 and standard deviation square M ka formula is summation of Rm into Rm bar the whole square upon N minus 1. Now looking at the formula it looks a little complicated but uh, while actually solving it it is very simple. Okay, So let us see now how to solve the sum number 1. From the following data, calculate beta and covariance. They are giving you the number of years and they are giving you return on security. We will consider this as RS and return on market portfolio which will be known as your RM. Now based on this, let us see how to solve the sum. So our table will be in such a way that we will have years, we have return of security, return on market security or market portfolio. Then according to whatever we require for covariance I need Rs minus R bar S Rm minus R bar M and then the submission and the multiplication of both. So the three column will be based on covariance and for getting standard division square M that is Rm minus R bar M the whole square. Okay that will be our last column. Now let us see how we fill up the values. So years may be note down we have five years one two three four and five. Now under return on security we will write 35, 38, 34, 40 and 43. Now once you have written of you know the values of return on security see that you all add it up because I need R bar. R bar is nothing but the average. So 35 plus 38 plus 34 plus 40 plus 43 the total will come up to 190. Similarly, we'll even note down the market return or the market portfolio return 22, 26, 24, 28 and 30. Once we note down all the values total it up, the total will come approximately 130. Now, once we have noted the total of return of security and market, the next step will be we need to find R bar S. That is the average of return of security that will be nothing but submission of rs upon number of years which comes to 190 upon 5 which comes to 38 similarly we also need to find r bar m that is nothing but the average of rm ka total upon n that is nothing but 130 divided by 5 which will come to 26 Okay, that is the very first step that needs to be noted. Now, once we have got the values of the averages of return of security in market, we can go to the next column. Our next column is RS, that is return of security. So each return, we have to subtract that by the average return. So 35 minus 38 will be negative 3. 38 minus 38 is 0. 34 minus 38 is negative 4. Negative, then we have 40 minus 38, that is 2 and 33 minus 38 that uh, 43 minus 38 that is 5 similarly for market 
22 minus 26 that's negative 4 26 26 is 0 24 26 is negative 2 then we have positive 2 and lastly we have positive 4 the next step is we need to find the product of the you know first second fourth and fifth column so that will become 3 in, negative 3 into negative 4 is 12 0 positive 8 2 2 is a 4 and 5 4 is a 20 once you get the second last column got the values see that I'll total it up so 12 plus 8 20 plus 4 24 plus 20 is 44 and now the last column that is nothing but rm minus rm bar the whole square so the square of the fifth column so negative 4 plus square is 16 0 is 0 negative 2 is 4 positive 2 is also 4 and 4 4 is a 16 once you get all the values see that you will total it up so 16 plus 4 20 and another 20 so our total will come to 40 with this our entire table has been completely done now we just have to apply into the formula now in order to get beta first i need to find the covariance because the numerator stands for covariance so first we will find the covariance so covariance ka formula we will first note down covariance is nothing but rs into rm the formula for which is submission of rs minus r bar s into rm minus r bar m upon n minus 1 now rs minus r bar s into rm minus r bar m the total is 44 upon n that is 5 minus 1 so that was nothing but 44 divided by 4 so our covariance is nothing but 11 okay so that's the first thing that we have already first thing that we have found now second we need to find the standard deviation square m that's the denominator part for getting the value of beta so that will be sigma rm minus r bar m the whole square upon n minus 1 now rm minus r bar m the whole square ka submission is nothing but 40 the total and bottom again it will be 5 minus 1 so it will be 40 divided by 4 which comes to 10 ok so we got the numerator value we have got the denominator value now we can use the final formula beta is equal to the covariance covariance when you are finding a covariance between market and the security upon standard deviation square m so that is nothing but 11 divided by 10 so we have 11 we have 10 when you divide it we get the answer of beta that is 1.1 so this is how you all had to solve the sum under the chapter risk and return analysis again a very important topic for all the TYBMS students okay the formula for beta and covariance and standard deviation square m is given you just have to apply into the table make the proper the table and just apply the values and get your final answer okay i hope everyone has understood this with that we will be ending this video thank you